Hey, I'm Joel with Sediment Buster, and today I want to talk to you and show you how not just to flush your water, but to drain your tank with the Sediment Buster. This is an electric water heater, and whether you're dealing with electric or gas, make sure you always power down that unit first. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a hot water valve, maybe a few in the house to purge out some of that hot water. We actually have a lot of hot water in the tank, and I'll explain to you why this matters. The tank basically has a cold water intake. The valve is open. There's a long tube that goes all the way down towards the bottom of the tank, and that's where the cold water comes in. The hot water is then drawn from the very top. So by running hot water valves inside, we are cooling the water down here and pulling the hot water out. I've run the hot water now for several minutes, purging that hot water out, and I feel that the temperature now is safe enough to start uh, flushing the tank. Now, I'm gonna keep these off to start because we're gonna flush with full water pressure first. Now, the Sediment Buster is an attachment tool, and I'm gonna attach it to a drain or garden hose. Make sure that that hose has a full port opening so that everything can come through the Sediment Buster and into the hose. So I attach it to the hose, and then I'm going to thread it into the water heater's drain valve. I'm gonna use a basic bicycle pump. So currently our tank has full water pressure. We have not vented it. The sediment buster's valve is open and we're going to open the water heater's drain valve. Now I wanna demonstrate here that you'll notice that a little water is trickling out but we're not really seeing very much come out. So I'm gonna close the sediment buster's valve for a moment. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of air, try to break up the clog and now we're gonna open up the sediment buster's valve and here it comes. So we broke that initial clog and you can see all that sediment coming out. And now the water starts to punch out a little bit better. But we really needed that air first to get this thing to start flowing. And look how terrible this water is. You can see how much dirt and sediment, it smells like rotten eggs. Clearly this tank needs to be flushed. Our tank has been flushing now for about 10 minutes. I'm going to temporarily turn off the valve and then I'm going to bring the hose to this new bucket and just kind of see the difference of what is drained. So this bucket right here is what we initially flushed out. And now I'm gonna start the flushing back up. And as you can see, it looks like it's pretty clear. Still a little murky, but it's obviously a heck of a lot better. But I have a point. Is this water heater truly clean? So this is the bucket that we initially flushed out. This is the water that came out after 10 minutes of flushing. And now what we're about to do is use the sediment buster to drain the tank and you'll see how much more sediment we get out of this tank. I'm gonna be opening up several hot water faucets in the house. So a bathtub, a sink, and find a few other faucets in the house to open. This will create venting in which we can then drain the tank with ease. Now I'm back at the water heater and I'm gonna turn off the cold water intake. So I turned off that cold water into the water heater and this is the hot water, it's no longer on. The cold still works, but the hot does not. And so now we know that no more water is being pushed in here from the hot water tank. Okay, our tank is now vented, cold water is off, so we're ready to drain. I'm gonna turn the Sediment Buster's drain valve off. I'm gonna open the hot water's valve, and then I'm going to hit it with some air to mix that tank. And I'm gonna open it up, and we're gonna start draining this tank 
into this bucket. And you can see there are a bunch of particles that are just starting to come out of this tank. But if you notice, whenever I hit the tank and I start adding air pressure, the water starts coming out, and obviously you can see that sediment just pouring out of there. So again, just a reminder, this is not flushing. Now we're draining. We're actually taking water out of the tank. I have been using an air pump to this point, but I want to illustrate that you can also use an air compressor. I think it's a little more fun, and it actually gets the job done a little quicker. So, and I just start hitting it with just quick shots and check it out. So as you're draining, you just keep hitting this thing periodically with shots of air. You'll just see the sediment flowing right through along with the water and it keeps mixing and pulling out. Again, no water pressure here. This is all air pressure. Now, while we're draining this tank, I wanted to talk a little bit more about venting. Again, inside we've opened up multiple hot water faucets and that should create an adequate vent. Some manufacturers or plumbers might suggest to use the pressure relief valve in which you would flip this up and then it would create an added vent there. Now, one thing to keep in mind that if you decide to do this, it may struggle to reseal itself once you've popped it open. So do that with caution and we don't necessarily advise it because we feel like venting inside is more than adequate to get this thing to drain. It's been about 35 minutes and this is a 50 gallon tank. So I am continuously hitting it with shots of air to kind of move this stuff out. And I know that I'm getting close because I only hear the air bubbles rising a short distance inside the tank. If you put your, we have drained the tank. I'm hitting this with air and I actually hear the air just pumping into the empty tank so we know we're drained. So before we're finished, now I wanna go back up to the cold water main and I wanna turn on the water for just a second. And it's gonna push some water and kind of agitate the back of the tank for a minute. I have it on for maybe five, seven seconds, turn it off. Added a little bit more water, and now I can get a little bit more sediment that was kind of at the back of the tank. And you'll see we keep coming out. And I keep doing this water agitation process maybe four or five times. Really try to clean that tank out the best I can. I've filled the water a little bit each time just to agitate the tank a few more times. And this is what we're finding, guys. That was the initial flush. This was after 10 minutes of flushing, and this is after draining. Drain valve is now closed. The sediment buster is taken off. I'm gonna turn the cold water main back on, and we're gonna fill the tank back up. Now remember, inside, the water faucets are still on. We're gonna leave those on until we filled this tank all the way up and we've pushed all the air and everything out of those pipes and water's flowing clearly through all of our fixtures. Currently we're in the process of refilling our water tank. You can hear a lot of hissing. It's just the air pushing out of the tank. And we just wanna make sure we keep all of these valves open so that we clear all that air out of every pipe. And our tank is full, so now we can shut off the hot water fixture and we are good to go. The sediment buster, I'm telling you, we were able to see what we were doing through the clear window, able to break through tough clogs. You saw how much broken shale and minerals and dirt that we were able to pull out of that tank. Sediment buster is a game changer.